It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. 
Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked but if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Some way off, we've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm True to life, indeed. We'll find her.
In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I, hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. We going? Help me! Help! Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. What? Take that down before there's trouble. 
the coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Master Witches? Would you be of a mind to kill the griffin? Beasts are scourge on our land. Only killed livestock at first, but it's got a taste for human flesh of late. We're afraid to set foot outdoors. If someone will pay us, won't say no. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name? Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gaunt to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant, that a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. 
Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire. For example, go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Esund Yakton. You, Mislav. Shh! Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. Well, that was before... Well, a long time ago. 
Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So, can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardian? Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Bad time? Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something, something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who's spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. 
Bates' scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Hear that? It's closed. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. Crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. What the hell is this? Rye! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so! No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Well, let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! 
They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Now you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. Then what? Gonna do my nails too? If time permits. Sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia, place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blaze started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how?
I got out of flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muy. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war. Unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc, etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Imgrimi et Art Ketzer. 
Dyfen Aden in Karn Eb Marvut. Emir Var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, wat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm hmm And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look. That's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt before the Wild Hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. 
Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. 
I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is! Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd a heard the cries, sir. If you'd a heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> your entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. 
Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch, conflict ensued, cause unknown, find the witch, talk to the peasantry, village of Midcops. Caution advised, I'm being observed, don't know by whom or why, unsettling signs. Dog ran off, water in bucket froze solid, strange glow observed in the sky, ill omen peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri, thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Baron home? Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I wanna plow with the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way, nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. Sergeant! Ardle! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Emphysema? Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality. Especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Hey, where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Sent some beasts from the woods and tapped her before she could reach the village.
You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. 
All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. Effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do! Hide! Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Bowie. Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. 
Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella? Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller. Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullein leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. Can't seriously think I'm gonna chase down your goat. A Pella without a goat makes for a mute prophet. Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. 
Raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood, we need blood, a living being. Fine, be right back. Do. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. You! You! Where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right! The Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Huh? 
<laughs> we need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna the little one, our little one, to make things right. 
Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up. And empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. And embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body.
What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But- No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea! Lead me to those bound to you by blood. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That's her came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside burned like a cattle brand i though these wasn't black scars scabbed over these hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire why help them at all 
You risked a lot. By the debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them. The frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I've done my part. You've got dozens of men. There's got to be someone you can send. You refuse to go? Mm-hmm. Fuck you! Yet, if you're ever in the area, by chance even, take this and just make sure she's all right. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What, have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? 
at Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> You're wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you! What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. So long. I should have sent him back to the witch. Might cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I didn't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's setting now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young'uns. Marion's lad, now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for- What do you want? I told you I'll say naught about the witch. Would a few crowns refresh your memory? Oh, well, if that's how you put it. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind.
No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes. You're welcome, skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Miss! Cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh really? Who? for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything, sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Mm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Ciri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Do you leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. 
I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes. Before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. The Wild Hunt. What? Phantom Riders? That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. Ready. Follow me. Damn portals. Wonder where Kira is now. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine. Won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. If you're scared, turn back. I'm gonna go on. Stop it, that's emotional blackmail. You'd really worry about me if I went on alone? You? I'd be concerned for myself. Then come with me. Just quick decision, come on. Very well, have it your way. How did I ever let you talk me into this ridiculous expedition? That's him! That's the elf! What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. Message was definitely for Ciri. Daughter of the Gull. Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tyrael. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. Shalash! S.I. Pisa! Mage from the hunt summoned it. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Press's surge. Stand at my side. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took 
great deal of power. If you can't go on... You can't leave me here. I'd never do that. <laughs> mm. Love to be able to say we can stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Stubborn Dwan! Geralt, I, I shall help you. Step back. Stop telling me what to do. Tyrell, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything, and if they had more time they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Ah, oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll stop by, you can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. 
Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? I've forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. 
Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Anyone else here, besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You've seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Gran. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. Go on now. You'll stand in the corner, I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go. Be gone. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you, and and Johnny's made up, and, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. 
Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Soup with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be by. His Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Is this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Here. Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! 
did. Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a clock. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. That old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. It is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me.
Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Disturb our rest, woman. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He laid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me. Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. 
They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Valen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day I too will be summoned. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is, just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power, an evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all, oh, fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the whispering hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? My prison, a fortress besieged. Murderers I await, and my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance, the crones killed me and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusting. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A loveliness of thee. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Freely, please. I come the gale. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. The crones. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Deal. I'll help you. Imprisoned for years. 
I shall be free again. Break my fetters. Blood is my escape. A right you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of eyeballs, and the swift steed. A bear, wild and free, in meadows pasture good, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these, and bring them here. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Didn't have to fight anything or anyone. I simply freed the spirit. Y you did what? Freed the evil so it can prowl the world as it will. Did what had to be done. Uh, and if it returns? Ask the ladies of the wood to help. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon.
There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence. We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Someone suffered to die. We let and players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. Elder 
blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. Does she sleep? Like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table's set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emlyrith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you. But I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return. You shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, <laughs> this new handsome knight. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit. But in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story.
With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her, felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, 
Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what... You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off, 
It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Tub. What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstun from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. 
my Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here, that enough? Hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away! Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You have good ears. Folks say this witch got crack wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench and gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Staingrim. Well, Staingrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You Enough. <sighs> Best finish me now, because you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. 
Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Trolls stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see.
Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Haven't looked around Novigrad yet. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Barna. Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Duty calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. They seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugas, Madman Lugas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. 
Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Freyde is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at us. Likely not. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feet are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to craft about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. I had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention this, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak, Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start around the horn. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That would likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. 
And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Ah. Are you alright? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals. They're alive. Yen, watch out! What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Wait a minute. I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. Really wonder if Croc will be willing to help. He knew Ciri well. She and Hjalmar played together as children. There. Good as new. Let's get back to the wake. Kraken Creator asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my word. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beard and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise, a king must command respect, a king must have bollocks! With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forth! son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! <laughs> May the best man a woman win! I must leave you behind. You might think me. What's got into her? 
She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Bright unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an odd skellic on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. 
I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgeleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Are you two clear on the other side of the island? Good! May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid! I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity! Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious sea swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief! On one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. 
Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine... Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. But... why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. <sighs> it is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durin, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on in this world. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. 
We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. 
Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object? Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell care more and out from under you. Go already! Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. We are about to make some enemies. I don't need everyone to like me. I most value the opinions of those I care about. You, for example. So, can we start? Mm -hmm. Selene, Selene, Dufresne! Selene, Selene, Davidar! of Lofferton. No, I... You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She's wise! They cursed me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! Speak! She, she fell! Oh, almost! No!
Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned... dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. And where is he? My... friend? Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. <clears throat> What's this? Did you undress me? I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm -hmm. And if my breasts needed smearing with fox tallow? Nay, nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honour. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey, fine. You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mum and I will take care of you. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes. It's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mum, she's from the continent. She's shy. I'm not at all shy. I just wanted something to sit on. Hmm. Expect me to believe that? Astrid, behave yourself, or I'll send you to gut fish with your pa. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, 
back home. Have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. No, that's not right. I wasn't in a shipwreck. Hmm. So, what brings you to our shores? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It it breaks Gyal's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? That's right. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. What? What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go!
became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him at Stonehenge, but he sold him. To whom? No, no. Be gone. Just tell them. I say. Let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skell told us. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen. Local ruler, a baron, keeps him in his castle. Told me he won him in a card game in Novigrad. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. Won't be necessary. Baron owes me a favor, a big one. Seems early to me. What would I do with him? Cart him around while I searched for Ciri and hunted monsters? He's safe where he is, with the Baron. At least I think so. I'll get him once I know why Ciri went to Novigrad, what she did there. Still a chance I might find her there. All right. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even wanna think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be her, might be her companion, or someone else altogether connected to them both. I don't know. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen either. Leaves Novigrad, world's biggest city. No one said it would be easy. Better to have some idea where to look than none. Ah, <sighs> makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. I can't even begin to imagine, but we will pull her out of it, safe and sound. 
That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. All right. So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship.
Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the Jinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame Jinn. Rif Kaishta Eng Gaya. Kaishta Ep Displayer. Givered Me Castle. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Ah, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was, in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. 
think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. I shall scour the palace library for something, anything that might help us determine who or what the creature Skull saw is. Kaer Morin's got a pretty rich library. I shall search that later. Besides, we really should report to the Emperor. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Siri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. By the others of your speech. in here. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that? Yeah. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple guards cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. Oh, I'd be a scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the King of Beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? 
This is some sorcerer's bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. What's your point? I ask the questions, Witcher. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake is inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure, like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding riverfish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxes. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine, and me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along.
Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. All right then, let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> So, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temerius King. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promised to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Our lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working. The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember. I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is... 
You'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week, well, you shan't believe it, I found human feces in the parlor. I'd like to go inside and look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that. Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. 
All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Truth is, I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. 
Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. It was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Ciri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean?
Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find you. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages proud. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Huh. 
dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sorply. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, 
know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead, not your concern. Vespule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witch I took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covere. Ha! <laughs> Horvere, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button re-affixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, 
he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings-on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No, won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. 
surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then! We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised it didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Ritanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volte acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, milady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. I'd rather resolve what I have to with Molly. Very well. I shan't insist. The attractive one, that's Molly. Speak to her. The Pyroness and I will place our wages. You can then ride back to Novigrad with us, if you wish. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? 
but... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. What do you want? I want to see Rose of Aratra. Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Oh. What do you want? Rosavar Atra is expecting me, supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work. better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. What's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons?
Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. You're back! You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. Claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture some dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. 
Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troupe. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
Marion boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. And they'd awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, you said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait.
Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? Got something to discuss with Dijkstra. I mean, Siggy Reuven. I think he can wait. Yeah, probably can. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad. Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zerakania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aimed to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find all, son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, 
Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's gotta be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Orson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remained that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself, and thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. 
Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Bah! Stop that! Now! Bah! Man! Bah! Make Ziggy look joyful! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bah! Huh! Bah! Let's think it! But less thinky, but sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Your foot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? 
bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look, won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head full. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Want to see? Boom! Got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, 
And, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Mmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Trace. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit.
know you well enough to know what matters, results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell- <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold? It's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. 
it's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches when they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, dopplers, and other vermin. So don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Last time I say this, don't call her that. Why not? Would you be bothered if I cut off a pinky? Yes. I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. 
drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. You there, Mr. Rovan wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menge. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt. Do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Classic. Chris, how'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, 
but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. Triss, stop. First, let him. Please. So, gonna talk? Uh, depends on the question. Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruben's treasure? I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl the pain again. Yeah, and yet I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? Yes. No matter what you do, witch, that I will never reveal. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Manka captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. You might have said so from the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. Why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But... But I helped you. Uh, it's not so bad, I promise. Peace, lay and gay. How do you feel? Base, cruel, vile. I could go on, but I need to get out of here now. Go home, bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Geralt! 
Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Take care now. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience? I'm a witcher. I kill monsters for coin. Been doing it all my life. Humans won't be a problem. A guard must fight sometimes, but that's not most important. The essential question is, can you control yourself? And can you control a crowd? Been taught how to slow down or speed up my heart rate, how to dilate my pupils and alter my metabolism. My medallion vibrates when danger's near, and I know a few simple spells. Hmm, I'll have to test you. I want to see how you're managing a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Them they tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well, we've not had enough. Now. Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? You heard the man. Kill him! Wiley. Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? I heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Don't trust you an inch. Told you all I know, I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. 
Think about it. It's not too late, hear me? Change your mind. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See ya. He's sure to reward you. Greetings. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. Ah, welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Jr. to a get-together with his mates. Became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient right of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. Whoa there, Roach. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. <coughs> what do you do here, Hunt Scoyatel? Jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria, that's what matters. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Something's not right. Let's see what. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. 
What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Sandwich fuck is this? No, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Junior, I've come to talk. 
I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you. And what happened to her? What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Doodoo -Doo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doodoo? -Doo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. An eye for an eye! Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! That's what happened. Told you true. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. 
got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. I'm no executioner. Thank you. I'll make it up to you, I will. This is my city. Yet. Shut up. Now what? Gotta wonder what your friends from the Big Four will say when they find out you're working for Radovid. Hey! Wait! What are you saying? Wait! There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. I agreed to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities, cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Moller. 
a tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm, what do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Changeling rescued, or the witch's triumph, really emphasizes the message we're trying to get across. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. If you prefer something lighter, listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Mm, you're right. The drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbour piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? 
They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. <laughs> I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Fail run. Stay in the desert. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Ow! Finish him! Got something special like that!
Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely thrash in, eh, Al? Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, hey, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Role's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot. Of course. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear a rose and a godpiece. Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or the Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, Appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, 
The monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... and no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <laughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd kiss, um, uh, uh, deceitful like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling. I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah, it is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love. My betrothed! Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the guard. Remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go, on stage. Toss the traitor, scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. 
in the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right! I, mummers, don't know the Eternal Fire's commandments! Blasphemers! All to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell! In the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful. You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers. But hold down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full run last by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us city for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her, sure of it. Oh, uh, I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. Things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? 
Let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road, against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? This ambush is simpler, because Menge was already planning to move Dandelion to Oxenfurt. Dudu just needs to confirm an order everyone knew Menge was planning to give. If he released Dandelion, he'd need to explain why, probably raise suspicions in the process. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know, as soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play. Have a one again? My goodness. So, another hand. If you've no more coin, we could play for... They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out where we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm. Dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside? There another way in? Truth be told, there is. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them even, and they're... You shut it! Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What? Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. They're ready for the square! After them! Guards! Guards! Dandelion! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Don Ep tonight, Bundro is ne Iacus. Hmm, the curse invokes ugliness. My entire life, don't think I've seen anyone uglier than. Stunning Gemma? No, a certain deformed midget who appeared out of the blue on the shores of Hindersfjall, and now wanders around the Baron's castle. Ah, uh, you and Siri. Like two water droplets. Never know what either of you are talking about. 
She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Maybe. Besides, the curse might have had something to do with Uma. I should collect him from the Baron. Uma? The, uh, deformed midget? What will you do with him? First, lift the curse. Maybe I can get some help at Kaer Morin. After that, who knows? You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything, I'm telling you. You can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hardle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. 
Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only Beckham. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can- It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use. Though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... The fail Elen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me silly. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where to disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. 
Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Quite a while. Too long. <laughs> and your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. The passenger got a little restless. <laughs> mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, a lip, and is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh, you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a, we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed, off the balcony. Shame, that was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it. Despite our asking. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm hmm And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adalbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full. 
and sharp as ever in spite of your years. Whereas you're getting hard of hearing in your old age. Squawking grouse could have snuck up on you. Nah, heard you panting from three miles away. Just didn't want to give up that vantage point. Good to finally see you again. Jen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise to what she said. One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Carol, please, cut the crap. Shh, hear that? Incoming. All right, let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Something about Yen bothering you? Come on, grow a pair. Give it to me straight. You grow a pair and admit she tricked you more than a few times. That was then. Yen's changed. Right. <laughs> Fine, never mind. Let's go. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! <clears throat> I could beat you riding a lame sow. <laughs> Good one. Underestimated you, or should I say Scorpion? One fast mount. And I overestimated you. If I'd known it'd be that easy, I'd have bet something on it. All right, name your prize. Earned it. Hmm. Had this craving for Mahakaman spirit a while now. Nothing burns quite like it. Have a bottle for you next time we meet. Promise. Hold you to that. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for a crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion.
Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old Speartip? Old Speartip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old Speartip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? Whatever you want to do. You're probably right. Let's go, straight to the cave. Finally, something reason. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh, you fat fuck. One, two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. Uh, which us is to walk no more. Uh, stops. Uh, this mountain, Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Ah, uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say? Thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. We walk throws. Lose goes no far more. Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle of elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witchesy Castle. Rock Slotfler. Pretty rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll rock troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher wood? Only you. Witcher's monster kills trolls monsters. Yes? True is, no face make. Mm. Um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease, we smash. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. 
Thick metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. All right. Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll, other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, then hang himself. Didn't have to kill them. But I could, so I did. Two whore sons less in the world. Big deal. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Witches is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Geralt, let's go. Right, let's get back. After you, sir. <coughs> Damn, Crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. 
Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up, in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Never took off. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the Megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. <laughs> All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflex. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave. Please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade. Hey there, Ida. Geralt. It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iacus. Take it you've heard the words before? Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's triangle, inverted, of course, 
They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensavern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Grimblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone... You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Escort, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you. That's it. I don't know what you want to do with them. You haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. Now take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma? Or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment. Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside without clearing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that.
Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. Ugh. Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies, and then I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you wanna watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Samavilla contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. So, what's this about a Samovilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. We 
you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, as soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. He can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta say, I'm pretty warm. He's always been a wuss about the cold. Remember winter 15 years ago, when the snow stayed around until Bellatane? Mm-hmm. Lambert sat by the fire, wrapped in a blanket. Cussed copiously every time it started to snow. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game, student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Esco, Esco, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Care Morin's black sheep. Wanna know the best part? They weren't even my knickers. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Taken fist tech. Eskel. Really? Once, with that succubus. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but 
I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? Should have been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. No, he can take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, believe you've had your last drink. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, cream puff. Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, relax, Lambert. You wanna fight? Huh? Wanna? Come on! Good night. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders.
ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or you'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Mm. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No. Not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to never been before, but she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, no, not like that, footwork, one, then the other, crossover, no, wrong, break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time, time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Come 
Many a tug. Never. Savi. Kawal. Arriva. End you. I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask, in my satchel. Quiet, listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nevid, Gariba, Endil! Geralt, the phylactery, open it! Kanitad, Taron Anadil, Diz! riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shrem. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse. The hunt has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble. And she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise. And they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. Get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Mm hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalak to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, 
but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally. I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. Wanted to talk. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Ciri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the on Crate family for centuries. And now it's yours. can, you must. Let me do this much at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Can we talk? The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. Oh, I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Mohan. Zoltan? Get out! I know where Ciri is. Then why are we here? Let's go get the lassie! I'll do that. 
but I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morhen soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I have my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morhen. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm-hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? No, the opposite. When I get there with Ciri, I expect we'll have to battle the Wild Hunt. Unbelievable! Have you even been listening to me? Closer than you think. You're not looking for safety. You want your dignity back. You want to be Kira Metz, sorceress of the Lodge, not some healer from the swamps who reeks of manure. 
giving you an opportunity Radovid won't give you. Go to Care Morin. Show everyone what you're made of. Yennefer was right. You do have some notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Care Morin? Bed's free of bed bugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. They're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimores, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. Is how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore, waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir's lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. That would mean balls and banquets, and other boring things that start with a B. Mm-hmm, but also baths, bombs, body massages. You can make up for all those years you slept in the bushes and bathed in mountain streams. Sounds tempting. Would I have to give up being a witcher? No, you'd take a monster contract from time to time to stay sharp. Nothing too dangerous, though, so I wouldn't have to worry. And I'd be waiting for you. Let me guess. With a candlelit dinner? Candles, sure. And a bed. Actually, we've never needed either. Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes. Somewhere over a hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them. Though you might want to badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Care more. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too.
got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crawler's mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Care Mori. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the islands now. It's impossible. What I can't do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Buy my mum's beer. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right. Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me said the fox to the gaggling geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. Coming too easy. How many are there? Three. I vote Gaspar and Benny. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edger insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally, bugger would budge. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist. Said the gate to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up, make you see one thing. All right, see if I can't find all three. See ya. Brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha, you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit! Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry.
What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalla. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eredin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. 
People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Velen. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air, and then I heard a strange sound, unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. I had no time to consider, we just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... 
You actually wound up there by accident. I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sends me use my power. Just as Eredin consents where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofferton, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here, said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child.
No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. All here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time's short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. Let's not stand out here. Yes, come. We should hold council. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the Hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the Hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. As soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. 
We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the Navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting, remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Erdin at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Geralt! Come here! Look! They're regrouping! See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spells ring. We're becoming visible. What's with Marigold? Shit. You were meant to wait inside! Forever. I must face them! Back inside, now! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell! Damn it! All right, run to her! Large detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. La da da. That gate hasn't done it yet. Means you'll be fine. We've got Triss to worry about now. Everything all right? Yes, thanks. 
Things were looking shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. We have to retreat! He's in trouble! I'm going to help him! Remember the stone I gave you! Retreat beyond it! Fall back! You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. They're coming in through the gaps! Time Meridian bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. I forbid 
with you! You always were an unruly child. I adored that about you. Now fly! I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kemoan. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone.
We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. Yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Va fail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? Don't trust the lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... Bundle. 
I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try. Strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. happening get up we must go I've saddled the horses Siri it's the crack of dawn where do you want to go to Velen Bald Mountain but a few days till the witch's Sabbath 
and guess who's the guest of honor. Dunno. Enlighten me. Imlirith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlirith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Why do I doubt Avalak's a fan of this idea? Do you see him here? I left him a letter. We'll rejoin him in Novigrad. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Avalark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Let them approach. But They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away, with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me.
this celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a fire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. And I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me, as I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key. So, since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and we do hope we meet again. Some. It's clearing up. 
Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Or. Now, bring me the coin. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Hmm. What's your name, girl? What's yours? Uh, your name don't matter. Atop the peak you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. One tough son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Hmm. 
know what you mean. He lived a life of love and knew no bitterness. lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? Yeah, we're both here. Where is the girl? Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. You fool. I trust this time will be no different.
We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? We slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. You avenged Vesemir. Avalark claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Let's go. The Oak is dead. The Oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Don't know, don't care. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mom then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. A little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to cripple Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. 
Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Find a way in? Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hamelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm, I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done? What, what are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Sorceress, let me die with dignity. Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt. Yenna, for once, don't argue with him. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Funny. There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud. You! Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. Not what I thought I'd find. Horson Jr. wasn't a pious man. But there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, 
Since the gods disliked Junior, they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret, that at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death, for he had had the courage then to do so, courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him? We'll soon find out. Who? Oh. Who's that? Remember me? You. You can't. You little ass fucked whore. You. You pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy? You cocksucker. I've, I've not left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. Ow! Little shit! On the way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. The girl who works there helped me. Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Hugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example... How you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? What's your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. 
We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so more to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race! Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. Think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. You do know you can always count on me, whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. They granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalach will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right.
That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. I do. Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivan of Spain, at Coman Maca, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketman. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me, so I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt, a true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. 
Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advised Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Aneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the Regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat. But we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Sure you weren't followed? Yeah. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et Robert Mekele, Alfelte, 
Graham as Dweer, J. Agnes Kerle as Pirshena as Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Stop squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever, so very sorry, but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his ass, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Emir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who- Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Siggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Think you might want to hear her out. 
dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you all right? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be all right? Yeah, thanks for your help. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalarch for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? 
I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I could use a little rest myself. Good idea. Get some sleep. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You've barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? 
from legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. I'll not kneel before an Ancrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crack's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So... Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. Mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. Not now.
watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. Hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermion's tutelage. Ermion? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you conniver. Cut me to bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermion. Mm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... <laughs> Either <early. laughs> Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I will explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? It's full of skeletons. We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yeta Ligon! Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm, really captured you. 
Sure, Havelock's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Let's look at his notes. Gods, he spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volka? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. It's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tiernalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, 
Why didn't he tell me to my face? Avalok means that much to you. What's that got to do with anything? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. Get out of here. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. We should be able to a fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt. I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. 
bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... I can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. 
Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in the matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Amir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. At last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You'll like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazair. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you.
You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. Yes, Geralt? We found the Sunstone. Gail Barnes' gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Simple, yet with so many complexes. Not now, Geralt. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Ciri? Cyril will wait at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Gets that from her father. I beg to differ. Emir is a pragmatist. Siri, an idealist. An idealist? What are you talking about? Never mind. 
Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Unless you wish to come with me now. No time to lose. Sooner we get this done, the better. Follow me. Give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ada eich blain idonei. Elven bauble worked. They approach. Still. It's a trap. We must flee. Now. Not this time. No, Cyril. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly! The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff.
Almost, Sira. Almost. Scathiard! Something to tell you, but I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. against each other, and he's made off with Surida. I don't believe you.
first, Siri. What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. Avalox muddled your mind with a fortune teller's fables. You're wrong. The White Frost truly does approach. Worlds will freeze, one after another, and all life will be eradicated. Avalok gave me a choice. I made the decision. I must stop it. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Don't do this to me. Please, not now. Girl, believe me. The tavern, old wine, our boots drying by the fire, I'd like nothing better. Try for you, Yen, Triss, for everyone. Keep your fingers crossed.
The gentleman will follow. Did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Master Ort. Hmm. Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, 
and my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment, gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowling the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck in the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad, beneath them. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Temeria and Edirn, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, Freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. 